and welcome back to Sats Factory guys. In today's episode we're going to do the fuse modular frame factory and probably the cooling system factory. Both of them use liquids which I've never done before so I'm going to learn something new today and there'll be a bit of train stuff as per usual. I've already done a quick scan for the nitrogen and just past the weigh station I found a node. Um, this is going to be new because I've never done this before so I'm probably going to muck this up. Oh, I wish I bought the buggy. I, I totally forgot how slow the tractors can actually be. And at last we're here. Um, let's get rid of that plant first. Yeah, I want no gas around here. Bit of dynamite and bye-bye. Is that the last of them? I was here before and I killed a lot of them. I thought I cleared them all away. Yeah, and the dog creatures. There was a few of them here as well. Um, oh, there's another one over there. Right, is that the last of them? Let's have a quick look around see if there's any more. Um, oh, one more over that side. Let's get him as well. Right, hopefully that's the last of them guys now. Let's get to the well. Right, what do you do with this? I've had to read up on this, look at a couple of videos. We put a well right in the middle, then surrounding it, depending on how many nodes you have, you put these little extractors, and they're the things that actually extract all the gas. It's a bit of a weird situation. I think it's just like, this pressurizes it down, and then the gas gets shot up to the extractors. That's what happens in my mind anyway. So on this one, we can actually put down six extractors, because we've got like six little node points. So let's get some electricity over here and we'll get, make a start building this factory. Now we've got the juice, let's put down the extractors. I'll quickly stick a blender down here just to double check this recipe. Mm, what do we need? Fuse frames and there we go. So we're going to need one heavy frame which with the factory just over the way there. And we're going to need aluminium casings, so we're going to have to get that delivered by train. And also, we obviously, we need the nitrogen gas. The reason I'm doing this factory is so we can unlock the rest of tier 8. And the floor for the factory, it's just about done. We're there anyway. It's a really simple factory, this one. We only have one floor. So below at the train station, that'll get the aluminium casings. We'll probably belt in the heavy frames for now. I'm actually undecided what to do with this factory. I might just totally level it at some point and just incorporate the whole thing into the heavy frame factory. That would make more sense and it would kind of like tidy up the area. Because this factory, it's making the area look a bit untidy actually. And I'm, I'm still not sold on it. But right now, I do need these parts building, so I'm just going to have to uh, kind of live with it. So let's get the pipework done for the nitrogen gas. It hasn't got too far to travel, so hopefully this won't be too awkward. I'm undecided, should we put this into tanks? Or just pipe it straight to the factory? We've got six little nodes to play with. Do we just join them all together, you think, in one giant pipe? That may be the way to go. The idea I've got in my mind, we'll just join three extractors on one section of pipe, three extractors on the other section of pipe, then we'll just join all the pipes together. And just join that pipe to there, and that's the first section done. And the pipe's already pressurising. 
that's nice right getting up that section of pipe that height there will we need a pump like we do with liquids I don't know it's all new to me and there's the second lot of three done now all we need to do is just connect the last pipe up so it all joins into one center pipe Yeah, just put a joiner on one of these pipes. Oh, actually, we can just use that joiner, couldn't we? Yeah, let's get a bit of height on this, I think. Okay, down here, that should be all the pipe we're done now. Um, should I put a pump in? I'm unsure. I think I'll just do it anyway. Can it hurt? So let's get the pipework sorted upstairs now for the blender and after that we've got to sort out the frames coming from the heavy frame factory and also got an organiser train coming from the aluminium factory. We may need an extra station, I'm not sure if we've got the room to play with up there. I've put the walls and the ceilings on at the top of the blender factory so now let's try to figure out where to put this train line. We don't have an awful lot of room to play with. I'm going to have a loop it round the back of this, what, what would you call it? It's sort of like a lily pad plant, isn't it? I've put a bucket load of power lines down on the ground, so hopefully the hover pack, I won't run out of electricity. If I do, I'm pretty sure that pit is endless, because I've never seen the bottom. Took a bit of fiddling, but I finally got a piece of track coming off the junction and I'm happy with that yeah it looks pretty level it is slightly above the track I can live with it for now now I just need to get a nice curve going all the way up to the station it is going to be a bit steeper than normal though unfortunately I can't do anything about that we just haven't got a lot of gap to play with so ultimately I think I probably will de de demolish this station and build it on top of the heavy frame factory but that will be a long way off I've got so much to do before I get to that So that's the inline, that's just about sorted. It is steeper than I like, it is. But I think that that's about as good as it's actually gonna get. So let's get on with the outline and get this loop sorted. Then we'll get the train sorted, the belt sorted, and we'll start making. What is it we're making? I forgot. I've remembered it's fused modular frames. There we go. Oh, getting this outline done it is a right pain getting the height right. Um, yeah, it's surprising how high the factory actually is up. I'm trying to get the curve as natural as I can. Sweeping curves. I don't want it to look awkward and ugly. But I, I'm on a losing battle here, I think. <laughs> this may take a lot longer than I thought. I thought this would be like a 15-minute job. It's turning into a 45-minute job now. Yes. Oh, I'm, I think I can live with that. I've got to keep remembering in my head, eventually I'm going to delete this, so not to worry about it. Well, this has felt like an eternity, but I think eventually I've got the cave I'm looking for. We've got a full loop all the way around there. I'll finish all the pylons and then we'll get the trains running. Oh, it's the aluminium factory. We're going to need to build another station. I'm pretty sure we are. Now at the aluminium factory, and I was totally right, both these stations, we can't split them or make them any longer, really. So we are going to have to add a third station, and to keep in luck with the whole factory, it means I'm going to have to delete the whole like right-hand side of the wall, and build the factory all the way up to the top. Because I can't just have the station at the bottom, in my mind, that wouldn't work. So let's quickly get on with that.
the station's all plumbed in, the pipe works in, <laughs> the belts rather. Uh, I haven't finished the whole right hand side of the factory yet. I just want to get this running, then I'll come back to the aluminium factory and finish it all off. So now let's get this train going from the aluminium factory to the fused frame factory. It's surprising actually how long this journey takes. It is the other side of the map where the aluminium casings are coming from. So let's check upstairs, make sure I've plumbed all the lifts in, all the belts in, and the blenders actually getting aluminium casings. So two down, one to go, just need to get the heavy modular frames. I'll stick a few in there now, just get the, the factory rolling. So we're gonna have to go to the top of the heavy frame factory, somehow split the line off maybe, or split it at the bottom and send half over here. At some point, the heavy frame factory we're going to have to totally double production because i don't know one frame a minute it's not much is it really if i start using it but for now we're not going to worry about it we just need these parts to unlock tier 8. i took a load of heavy frames fed it into the blender and now we've got 50 fused frames so let's unlock leading edge production oh tier 3 miners i can't wait all together now, fire the laser. <laughs> there we go, we've got tier 3 miners. Right, what do we need to make these things? The latest fix it oh, buildings, that's an awful lot. Um, right. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. I spotted this the other day in the space elevator. Employee of the planet. <laughs> that's an awful lot of parts to build. I'm not going to worry about it for now. So let's get back to the heavy frame factory. We'll build the belts and send the heavy frames to the fuse frame factory. We'll also sort a train from the fuse frame factory to storage. And then we'll kind of start figuring out how to do the next part, which is the cooling system. Back at the heavy frame factory, I've done a little bit of fiddling and I've splitting the belt right at the bottom. Hopefully this will work. I'll feed it along to there. And then we'll send it all the way to the fuse frame factory. All the belts are wired down to the fuse factory. Unfortunately, only one frame a minute is turning up. So we're not going to make a bucket of the fuse frames. But fortunately, we don't need a lot of them right now. So let's organise the train. We'll get the storage sorted in the main base. And we'll get this production running all automatically. I've been a very busy boy here. I've um, made all the coolant rods, all the fusion frames, they're all now made. So let's go and find a nice site for the coolant systems factory. After they're being built, then we can do turbo engines and finally unlock particle enrichment. Yay! Yeah, that is still going to take a while though, don't get too excited. So after looking on the scanner, pretty close to where we built our original crystal mine, on the little clearing area there, there is quite a few dog creatures. I can't remember if I've killed them all, but there's another nitrogen node there. There's plenty of iron nodes here. There's all the minerals we're actually going to need and ores are in this area. So what I'm thinking of, I could stick the factory pretty close to the heavy frame factory, maybe. Maybe have another train station and we'll build all the items there. So I might do an extra loop on the track section as well. I'm thinking of, I'm not, it's quite, I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a little road, like a sort of ramp section. Then you can just drive up here any time you want. Currently, you can't actually get into this section very easily. So normally, when I do play the games, I do actually build a road into this section here. Okay, there's the ramp done. So now we can drive up here any time we want. And there's the nitrogen node right in front of us. And it's got uh, loads of outlets. I mean, there could be 10, maybe even a dozen. And yeah, it's full of dog creatures. It's not often I come up here, so I could not remember if I'd killed these guys or not. We'll quickly kill them, and then we'll put the the gas extractor down. So the gas mine's down. Let's run a power wire all the way back to probably the heavy frame factory. I would think that is our nearest power line.
Okay, finally the heavy frame factory. Um, where's there an outlet off? It's gotta be one here somewhere. Oh, I thought there was one on this side of the train station. Where was it? Other side of some. Oh, there it is. There's one on the other side of the miner. Um, <laughs> quite bizarre. This. I'll find one. Don't worry. The gas extractor is now pumping away. I, I can hear it banging in the distance. It's actually got 10 little nodes, so we can actually pump loads of nitrogen out of this. More than we're ever going to need. Um, actually, you can see the heavy frame factory in the distance. The little gap where I drive up through, I run up through sometimes, I'm thinking I'll stick the factory on the left-hand side of there. Because if I put it on the right, I think it'll get really too close to the heavy frame factory. But if I put it on the left, I could actually build it further backwards. That's me thinking, anyway. So the pipes there now at the ramp and luckily I found a buggy. I totally forgot I went into the spider cave because I, I was looking at the, um, the uranium node in there. It's full of spiders. One day I was like, pretty bored. I went in with the guns and bombs, killed everything in sight and as I was driving out the buggy ran out of fuel and it's probably been there for about a good couple of weeks. <laughs> but eventually I knew I'd pick it up at some point and today is the day. So now we've got a buggy. Right, next thing we need to do. We need pressurized water and luckily what is here <laughs> a pressurized water node yeah this just seems to be the perfect spot for this factory it's got everything the recipe for the cooling system we need a heat sink rubber water and nitrogen well water and nitrogen they're on top the rubber will kind of figure out a way because the, remember the rubber factory it's just over the other side of the gap there and heat sinks well we're going to get need aluminium sheets or it's a cladding i can't remember which one it is and so we need to mix that with copper and that'll make a heat sink so around here all we need is a copper node so we're only going to really be making one thing and then the actual cooling system itself so the factory again it's a pretty simple factory but some of the parts to get slightly complicated That's the last of the water pipes wired up. So now all we've got to do is figure out where we're going to put the factory and then I'll route the nitrogen and the water pipes to it. Oh, actually we need to find a copper node first. Let's go and find one of them. Yeah, it's, it's written in the stars. There's a copper node virtually on top of the water node. So this is going to make it dead easy. So we'll stick a mine down, only a mine or two at the moment, unfortunately, because we can't make table motors. And the heavy frame factory, it doesn't look too far away. There is a bit of a dip before we get to it. Probably right in line of that, on the edge of the mountain, or the, the gully, whatever you want to call it. I think that's where we'll build the cooling system factory. So I think sort of around this sort of area. What do you guys think? Hopefully there's going to be enough gaps so I can get a train line all the way around the outside of this sort of on the edge of the cliff side in the gully. I'll do a complete loop from the rubber factory all the way around to the junction and then back to main base. Probably cut in it also at the heavy frame factory. I think I can get a station below us. If not, it's going to take a serious redesign how to figure to get a station to come here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send the parts to the heavy frame factory, which I'd rather not do. Next job to do is we've got to feed the belts with the copper ore on all the way back to the bottom of the factory. We'll build some smelters and then we'll probably do another floor, make that the constructors. We'll make the copper sheets and then from there, that's how we'll make the heat sinks. 
think I'll just leave most of the walls off this factory for now because I'm not sure how many parts we've actually got to build. I mean, at the moment we're going to build like the, the 400 coolant frames to unlock T8, but eventually this factory will be part of the, the chain for the turbo engine factory itself. I haven't even got a clue where that thing's going to be. I haven't even thought about it. So I've got no idea how many parts per minute we actually have to build to actually make X amount for a turbo engine. Second floor now, so we'll just put a few constructors down, make the copper sheets. Um, ooh, should we put the assemblers down on this floor? We're not really stuck for space, are we? Yeah, because we're going to be making the heat sinks on there. Yeah, we'll just put them on the next level. All the constructors for the copper sheets, they're now done. It's all plumbed in, wired in, belted in, all the other things that go in, and it's coming up to this floor. So now let's put a few assemblers down for the heat sinks. Now this is where it gets tricky. We need to build a train station and get more aluminium from the aluminium factory. I hope I've got enough room on that third train station I put in just to put another one. So like put two train stations on one line. You can do it, it's pretty easy. Um, I hope we're gonna have enough room for the belts coming up the side of the mountain as well. It could get quite snug because I don't want the actual train stations themselves to come out miles from the factory if I can help it. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to think of some sort of frame system just so it kind of looks the part and you haven't got like a massive train station just sitting in midair, which would look pretty stupid. I should have really been sorting out the train station network by now, um, but I just don't want to do it because I know it's gonna be a right royal pain. So I've put the manufacturer down. I've, um, I've selected it for the cooling system. So now I'm just gonna plumb it all in just to avoid doing the train stuff, I think. <laughs> the pipes have the nitrogen and the water. They're now at the very edge of the factory. Now I need to just send it up the wall here and then through that wall and plumb it into the factory itself. Should be a pretty easy job. And then I can't shake my responsibilities anymore. And I'm going to have to start messing about with trains again. Ah. <sighs> Right, that should be the last of the pipe work. The blender itself now should have oxygen and water. Oxygen? No, it's nitrogen, you fool. Oh, look at the pipes. They're all silver. That is really cool. I've never noticed that before. Obviously, I don't pay attention enough. Okay, I've had a cunning plan. I don't know if any of you guys remember the Black Adder TV series. That used to be his famous line in it. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, since this station's not being used that much, really, I'm going to extend the station slightly and put another temporary station in here. Because the actual real station for the factory itself, it's going to be a right pain, and I know it is. I really do. So I'm going to build this temporarily so I can make the 400 coolant frames and the 100 turbo engines, and at a later date, then I'll start messing about with the train stations themselves. I know, I'm cheating. I really should just do the whole thing in one go. But today, I've got other things I want to get on with, and this is just a, a sort of a temporary fix. So do not shoot me, guys. Please do not shoot me. We're back at the aluminium factory again. Christ, I've been here a lot today. Uh, let's delete these two blank platforms. We'll put a station in and a freight terminal, and then we'll split the line for the aluminium casings. So one goes into the the first station and the other half goes into the second one hopefully that'll be enough of a solution at some point like every else on the game i'll have to expand this factory because we will need even more aluminium than this luckily tier three miners will overclock everything will make this thing so much bigger and produce so much more but for right now this is just again in inverted commas a temporary fix <laughs> So now we're back at the heavy frame factory, we're going to run a belt all the way from here to the new cooling system factory that will deliver the aluminium casings. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm going to save a little bit more time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a belt all the way from the rubber factory to here as well. So then that will negate, I just won't have time today to run the whole loop system I wanted to do with the train track. It'll probably take me a good four or five hours to complete all of that and it will not get done in this today's video. So. Just because I want to get this running today, I'm going to cheat again slightly. So 
So we'll simply run the lifts down all the way as far as we can go, maybe to the bottom of this little bit of the rock case, and we'll that fit now onto the bottom of the lift. No, it won't, but it'll hit the rock though, won't it? Yes, yeah, so we'll build the belts there. Um, oh, mm, we could just run the rubber factory belt across. We'll just run it across the bridge, I think, really. Yeah, that would be the best solution. Then we'll run it all the way up to here. So the assemblers are now chugging away. We're making heat sinks. And we'll send them upstairs to the blender. I nearly forgot its name there. Right, all we've got left to do now is run the belts with the rubber from the rubber factory. And then we've got to figure out a way how to get the cooling systems all the way back to base. Righty-ho, that should all be the belts connected, and where's the rubber? Please, Mr. Rubber, and there it is. Yes, we're now making cooling systems properly and automatically. I know I've cheated slightly off-camera, maybe next episode. I'll put all the railway lines in and the stations proper. Right, how do we get this back to base now? I never thought that far ahead. So, temporary marvellous plan number 803. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a second temporary station at the heavy frame factory. I'm going to have to loop the track round somehow even further. This is going to take a bit of building, I think. And this is the solution I came up with. That's easy for me to see. <laughs> uh, I've got two stations. One going point in one direction, one point in the other direction. So the inline just loops around and comes back to the second station. It seems to work pretty well, so now we'll get back to main base because I've got to sort out the filter system so I can put stuff into storage. What I did was I just did a quick reprogram of the programmable splitter and now the computers, the heavy frames and the overflow go one direction. I've split that off in another way. I just didn't want to add any more programmable splitters because it's such a pain. Keep lining more and more further back behind. It now goes to the storage and we can just collect it out of the containers. It works. I know we have to build a new base. It's one of them things I'm just trying to hold off on. Put this little belt on the storage so we can actually see what's in the container. And there you go. Cooling systems are being delivered. And right next to it are the fuse frames. So next job to do is we need 100 turbo motors. I'll probably just feed these in by hand into this manufacturer right at the bottom of the base. And then hopefully we can unlock particle enrichment. So off camera, I've been a very busy boy. The 100 turbo motors, they're all built and the 400 cooling systems, they've just now been delivered. So finally, let's fire the laser and unlock the last tier 8. Particle enrichment. There we go. Thank you very much reached. and good The night. particle accelerator enables previously impossible processes such as recycling nuclear waste and converting it into plutonium as well as the generation of exotic matter. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. There we go, particle accelerator, we finally unlocked it. We're going to need a ton of power to get that thing to work, so we're going to have to start messing about with nuclear power. I'm really going to have to start hunting on the map where I want to actually put the nuclear power station, because I want it well away from everything, because this thing is going to be so radioactive. So on that note, I think I'll leave it there, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time for some more satisfactory goodness. Bye for now.